our paper on NIPS is about the, the prediction of organic uh, chemistry reactions. Learning organic chemistry is like learning a new language and there's actually a lot of similarities. You could see an atom as a letter, a molecule as a word and also like uh, when you put a knot somewhere in a sentence for example this changes the meaning of the sentence completely. It's the same as you would put another functional group into a molecule, so the whole meaning of this molecule or the reaction would change. Yeah, using an AIA tool, we built this, uh, this system that takes an architecture similar to what is used in translation uh, from English to French or whatever, the, to, to build this uh, tool that could translate from a, a reactant space, so the inputs, to a product space, the outputs, the most likely outcome of a reaction. And uh, we've put together a demo where people can play around, draw molecules, put some examples together and just live predict those reactions. The cool thing about our approach is that unlike other approach, we are not making a query on a database to get existing data. Um, behind the scene, we are using a neural network. So that means if we come up with uh, molecules that the model has never seen, the model will try to make it best guess. The target audience for the app we built are organic chemists in industry as well as uh, in research because they could use it to predict reactions that are outside the scope of their expertise. This is usually they're really trained on uh, they have years of, of experience in some kind of field but uh, when uh, it goes away from that field it's really really hard to predict the reaction and so they could be more act like as generalists and then uh, maybe find shortcuts in uh, the chemical synthesis route that they would ha wouldn't have found otherwise and finding such a such a shortcut somewhere could mean uh, immense savings in time and money but there is three things that we want to improve. First, the accuracy. For now, we are at 82%, but it would be really nice if we reach 90. Second, um, also the coverage. Is that for now, we are limited ourselves to a uh, reaction coming from patents, and we want something broader, including the world chemistry. And third, accessibility. I think it's important to make a tool that could be um, used by other people, by chemists, students, so we want to make something cloud-based.